Good day, doctors. Today we will discuss tooth extraction in children. Кафедра of Pediatric Dentistry Orthodontic and Makushva Natalia Vyacheslavovna. Objective to study tooth extraction in children and its technique. Lecture questions. Indications and contraindications for tooth, tooth extraction. Preparing a patient for a tooth extraction operation. Tools for removing teeth. Technique for removing various groups of teeth. Complication during and after tooth extraction surgery. The operation of tooth extraction is a surgical manipulation during which the periodontal ligamentous apparatus is artifactly destroyed and the tooth is removed from the alveoles. Indications for extraction of milk teeth. Mobility of milk teeth, second and third degree with physiological resorption of the roots, more than a half of the length of the root. Delayed resorption of the roots of milk teeth. Roots of severely damaged teeth. They are a source of chronic infection. Complicated forms of caries if conservative treatment is impossible. Acute adentogenic inflammatory diseases, periodontitis, exacerbation of chronic periodontitis, osteomyelitis, phlegmon, lymphadenitis, sinusitis. Acute trauma of the tooth, fracture of the crown and the root of the tooth, fracture of the crown of a milk tooth, if it is root is not in the stage of resorption, the presence of impact and supernumeralities, which are potential source of inflammation or a traumatic factor, orthodontic indications. Indications for extraction of permanent teeth. Permanent teeth will be removal as a source of infection if uh, it has acute stage of adentogenic astemilitis of the jaw, if adentogenic purulent periastitis there are in the tooth, or maxillary phlegmon, or abscess, purulent lymphadenitis, sinusitis, etc. The cause of tooth extraction is an ability to use the remaining part of the tooth for prosthesis, and the tooth cannot be treated. Causes of tooth extracted, extracted may be impossibility of inappropriateness of orthodontic treatment. If the tooth has abnormal position, in the absence of Functional significance, for example, supernumeralities. The tooth will be extracted in the presence of chronic stomach diseases, chronosepsis, endocarditis, in which the tooth can be a source of infection or sensitization. And in the chronic inflammatory process in the periodontium. Tooth will be extraction if complication of an inflammatory nature, functional disorders, so with tooth retention. If treatment is not effectiveness, grade 3 for mobility uh, because of periodontitis. If interfering with rational protestics.
because of preparation of the oral cavity for prothesis is impossible. Prevent reposition of fragments is a source of infection from the fracture gap. Interring with rational treatment, for example, orthodontic indications. One of the indications for the removal of, per of permanent tooth is difficult eruption of the third molar. This happens in case mm, complication of an inflammatory nature, for example, pericoronitis, retromolar, periastitis, abscess and phlegmons, and adentogenic stimulitis. The tooth will be extracted if there is caries of the causative or adjustant tooth. If there is a deformation of the dentition, if the tooth is cause of symptomatic trigeminal neuralgia, if there is eruption cysts, The tooth will be eruption because of ameloblastoma. Given the high risk of developing various complications, third molars must be removed at any stage of eruption. In the presence of a pronounced inclination of the axis of the tooth in any direction, in the presence of pathological changes in the surrounding bone tissue, with insufficient space for complete eruption, with recurrence of inflammatory complications. At this slide you see different variants in the presence of a pronounced inclination of the axis of the tooth in any direction.
the third molar will be extracted if there is a presence of pathological changes in the surrounding bone tissue. This applies not only to the third molars, but in the case of the remaining teeth, we first use conservative treatment variants. At this slide, you see the pathological changes in the surrounding bone tissue. The third molar will be erupting if there is insufficient space for complete eruption. At the orthopontomogram, you see the horizontal inclination of the axis of the tooth for point 8. This is an indication for removal. And on the other side, the lack of space for eruption of tooth 3.8 is an indication for removal too. Contraindication for tooth extraction. As you remember, contraindication are divided into two groups. Absolute and relative. Absolute contour indication this is when it is impossible to prescribe a procedure or drug in any case under any circumstance. Since the risk of complications from the procedure or drug absolutely exceeds the effect obtained, there is no absolute contraindication to tooth extraction. Relative contraindication for tooth extraction. At the slide you see the table in which we use relative contraindication if the organ or, si or system have some, some diseases. For example, the contraindication for tooth remove if the patient has cardiovascular diseases, the disease will be hypertonic disease, ankyna, myocardial infarction in the first three, six months, rheumatism in the period of exacerbation, septic endocarditis, etc. For kidney diseases, it will be acute diffuse glomerulonephritis, kidney failure. For infectious disease, will be infectious hepatitis, influenza, acute respiratory infections, acute contagious and especially dangerous diseases. For several conditions of the patient, there will be combined injuries. The relative contraindication will be pronounced contractual during planning removal because of removal technically is difficult. For blood diseases, uh, the contraindication will be acute leukemia, agronucleocytes, chemophilia. For mental illness during an exacerbation uh, will be epilepsy maniac depressive psychosis, etc. The first and third times of pregnancy will be relative contraindication because of risk, masquerage and premature birth. Because of danger of bleeding, the contraindication will be radiation therapy for a tumor of the maxillofacial localization.
preparing a passion for tooth extraction. Preparing a passion for tooth extraction in children with concomitant pathology. Preparing will be with the relevant specialists. In case of severe concomitant pathology, it is advisable to carry out surgical intervention in a speci specialized hospital. Children, ch children with an um, unstable nervous system are given sedative preparation. The choice of method of anesthesia The choice of method of anesthesia depends on age, psycho-emotional state of the child, the expected morbidity of the operation, anesthetic tolerance, disease for which it is necessary to perform a tooth extraction operation. In children of the younger age group from 1 to 4 years old with an unstable psycho-emotional status in children with organic lesions of the central nervous system regardless of age, acute purulent inflammatory diseases, drug intolerance, tooth extraction should be performed under general anesthesia. Narcosis. Anesthesia during the operation of removal of milk teeth. There can be different anesthesia, different types of anesthesia. The first of one is application anesthesia. The second one is infiltration anesthesia in children in used more widely than in adults. Cyst anesthetic penetrate well through a thin, porous cortical plate and create a local depot for a long period. The expansion in the removal of milk molars in the lower jaw when the roots are resorted by a half or less, while the analgetic effect of the infiltration injection of the anesthetic is insufficient. In this case, Conduction anesthesia is used. The instruments for tooth extraction. Tooth extraction forceps. Forceps have their own name and purpose and are divided into groups. This is the stride forceps with no non converging cheeks, and these forceps using for removal of incisors and canines of the upper jaw. This is the stride forceps with converging cheeks, and these forceps using to remove the roots of incisors and canyons of the upper jaw. This is the S-shaped forceps which with non-converging cheeks and it's using for removal of premolars of the upper jaw. This is the S-shaped forceps with converging cheeks and it's used for removing the roots of the premolars of the upper jaw. Roots of the upper jaw. This is the S-shaped forceps with non-converging cheeks and spine 
on the left and it used to remove the molars of the upper jaw on the right. S shape forceps with non converging cheeks and spine on the right is using to remove the molars of the upper jaw on the left. This is the bayonet forceps with non converging cheeks for removal of the third molars of the upper jaw. This is the universal bayonet forceps with converging cheeks white, it can be white, medium white and narrow and bayonets using for universal bayonets using for removal of teeth and roots of the upper jaw. This is the big shaped forceps with converging cheeks and it using to remove the roots of all lower teeth. Big shaped forceps with non converging cheeks is using for removal of incisors, canines and premolars of the lower jaw. This is the big shaped forces with converging cheeks and it using to remove the roots of all lower teeth. Big shaped forceps with non converging cheeks for removal of incisors, canines and premolars of the lower jaw. This is the plain curved horizontal forceps with non converging cheeks with spikes and it used to remove the third lower molar. Direct elevator using for removing the roots of teeth. Third molars in the upper jaw. Curved, curved elevator is using for removing the roots of the lower teeth, mainly molars. Tooth extraction. The position of the doctor and the patient during tooth extraction. When removing the teeth of the upper jaw, the patient sits in a chair with a slightly reclined back. The chair is raised to a position in which the tooth to be removed is at the level of the doctor's shoulder joint. The doctor stands to the right and in front of the patient. When extracting the teeth of the lower jaw, the chair is lowered so that the tooth to be removed is at the level of the elbow joint of the doctor's lower arm. The headrest provides a chin down head position. When removing the lower incisors, canines, premolars and molars of the left half of the lower jaw, the doctor stands in front of the patient. 
when removing the canines, premolars and molars of the lower jaw, the doctor stands at the right and behind the patient. Stages of the tooth extraction with forceps. Before a tooth extraction operation, you must perform a syndesmotomy. It means you do dissection of the circular ligament of the tooth. Peel of the gum tissue from the neck of the tooth with a sickle shaped towel. Applying forceps to the crown of the tooth so that the axis of the cheeks coincides with the axis of the tooth. Axis misalignment will cause tooth break. Carefully separate the gum on both sides of the tooth to be removed to a depth of 5-6 mm. These techniques allow you to advance the forceps without damaging the gums. Advancing the forceps to the neck of the tooth. Forceps are inserted under the gum so that they capture the edge of the hole by at least 4-5 mm. It provides good fixation for forceps. Usually, the root margins are fragile and can be bitten off when the forceps are applied superficially, which further complicates root removal. Fixing the forceps so that the tooth and the forceps form a single system. If the crown is crushed too much, it will be crushed. Insufficient pressure may cause the forceps to slip. Dislocation of the tooth, luxation and rotation. Depending on the anatomical structure of the tooth and the thickness of the walls of the hole, you will do or luxation or rotation. Single root teeth, we rotating. Multi root teeth, we luxing. Luxating. Removal of upper canines and incisors if performed using rotational movements or movements towards the lip and palate. Removal of upper molars and premolars is performed by luxation movements in the buccal, then in the palatal side and out. Removal of upper first molars is performed by luxation movements. First to the palatal side, then to the buccal side. Remove the tooth from the hole down and out. The palatal wall of the alveoli is thin and the buccal wall is thickened due to creased zygomatic alveolaris. When removing lower first molar, premolar, canine and incisor, luxation movement are performed at the beginning to the vestibular and then to the lingual side. The walls of the sockets of canines and incisor teeth are thinner on the vestibular side. In the first molar and premolar teeth, the socket walls have the same thickness.
lower second and third molars, the first luxation movement in the lingual, then in the buccal set. The lingual wall of the alveoli in these teeth is thinner and the buccal wall is thickened due to the external oblique line. Extraction of the tooth from the hull. Fraction. The extraction of the tooth is carried out only after complete release from the tissue holding it. It is necessary to be very accurate during traction. Fix the breast so as not to destroy the antagonist tooth due to entirety, due to traction. Curitage of the socket and creation of a blood clot. Checking if all parts of the tooth have been removed. Blood clot is the basic for osteosynthesis and prevention of alveolitis. The operation of removing a milk tea tooth has the following features. Syndesmotomy is carried out very carefully if the tooth has no resorption. If the tooth has resorption, syndesmotomy is not carried out because of damage the rudiment of permanent tooth. Next rule, don't move the forceps along the axis of the tooth. Don't penetrate the forceps along the axis. And the next rule, don't curetage the hole because of you damage the permanent tooth. Extraction of a tooth with an elevator. The use of the elevator is based on the use of the lever principles. The direct elevator can be used when removing any teeth. To remove the roots of the teeth of the lower jaw, angular elevator is used. They are inserted in the periodontal gap or into the hole of the removed tooth root. At first the elevator acts as a wedge and then as a lever. When using a straight elevator, rotational movements are performed. The fulcrum of the elevator is the wall of the alveolus, not on the adjacent tooth. The method of removing the root of the teeth with an elevator on the upper jaw. The technique of removing the roots of the teeth with an elevator on the lower jaw. Previously, the roots of the teeth were corroded by a cutter. Gradually rotating movements dislocate first root. After dislocation of one root with a stride elevator, we take 
an angular elevator with a sharp end and dislocate the second root from the side of the bifurcation. In the event that the top of the root breaks off during removal, it can be removed in various ways, with an elevator or a pile. Extraction of a supernumerary teeth with the retention of the lateral incisors and canning. Operating fade. The incisal edge of the lateral incisor is clearly visible through the thin tans mucose. Incision. The incisal edge of the lateral incisor is exposed using the incision. Further extraction is continued by the Warwick James elevator. Ex extraction of the tooth from the socket. The elevator is placed opposite the crown of the tooth from the side of the palate. Next, the elevator moves medially and upward, removing from the hole. Hermectomy. This operation is used to remove a fully impacted, underdeveloped tooth with weak roots or an Improperly located tooth jaw. Retention tooth. Usually, molars aids of the upper jaw, rest down teeth are prone to this type of retention. Estimated extraction features. The depth of the tooth usually in the branch. Bone coverage of the tooth minimal. Roots are not formed. Duration of the operation about 30 minutes. The formation of the flap is necessary. Bone excision minimal. Sectioning of the tooth is required. With proper operation, the degree of surgical trauma is minimal. Alveolotomy. Alveolotomy is the removal of a part of the alveolar process. Often the interradicular septum to give the bone the correct contour. Sometimes it is used as a stage of surgical environment to penetrate into deep areas of the bone, for example with a typical extraction of teeth. Alveolotomy technique. Anesthetize the operating field. A scalpel is used to make an incision in the gums, forming a mucoperiosteal flap with a fissure burr, if necessary with outer wall of the alveolus is cut down, exposing the root located in it. The elevator dislocates and extracts the root. The edges of the hole are smoothed. The wound is washed with an antiseptic. The mucoperiosteal flap is put in the plate in the place and 
shattered with Cadgal. Wound care after tooth extraction. The root after extracted tooth must be examined to make sure that it is completely removed. To remove gran granulation and fragments of bone tissue, we will use a small surgical spoon, cu curette spoon. The walls and bottom of the hole are examined. The sharp edge of the hole are beaten. To preserve the blood clot, clot in the hole, prevent bleeding and alveolitis. The edges of the hole are squeezed with a goose ball and the patient is offered to bite on it. The tampon is kept in the oral cavity for 10-15 minutes. Oral care tips. Don't eat for 2-3 hours. Don't take hot food on the day of tooth extraction. Avoid sudden physical exertion. And don't go to the sauna. To the safe blood clot, say the patient, don't suck the hole of tooth. Lick with tonga and rinse his mouth. Complication during tooth extraction. Complication during tooth extraction in the form of violation of the general condition of the patient can be fainting, syncope, collapse, shock, respiratory failure in in hold, extracted tooth. Swap, blood clots, sharp cough, and asphyxia. With signs of asphyxia, you have to do tracheotomy, cricoconectomy. In other cases, with not threatening the life of the patient, an organ consultation with a pulmonologist must be. Complication of a local nature can be tooth fracture. The causes of tooth fracture can be extensive carous cavity, features of the anatomical structure, unsuccessful choice of tool, dilation errors. Dislocation and fracture of an ingesting tooth can be because of when the elevator is supported on the adjusting tooth will be sharp mobility of the adjusting tooth. When working with elevator, don't use the adjusting tooth as a support. Fracture of the alveolar process of the jaw during the removal of the upper large molars can be in the presence of the pathological process or when applying excessive force. You can avoid that if dislocation movement should be smooth with the gradually returning effort. If nevertheless a brick occurred, then the fragments should be repositioned and fixed or removed, and the wound should be 
Stuttered. Fracture and dislocation of the lower jaw. It can be because of presence of a pathological process. Poor fixation of the lower jaw during surgical environments on it. There will be sharp pain, mobility of bone fragments, sharp pain in the temporomandibular joints, Impossib impossibility of movements of the lower jaw. You can prevent that if a thorough examination of the patient before the intervention to avoid mm, the pathological process in the jaw or fix the lower jaw while working on it to avoid the movements of the lower jaw impossibility of movements treatment reposition of the fragments fix them eliminate the dislocation perforation of the flow of the maxillary sinus it can be because of individual features of the structure of the upper jaw or previous pathological process or errors in the technique of tooth extraction. Clinic The manifestation of the whole of the extracted tooth of bloody form, bleeding from the corresponding half of the nose. Prevention Timely rehabilitation of the oral cavity. X-ray examination. Careful removal of granulation from the bottom of the wall. Adherence to the technique of tooth extraction. Bleeding. After tooth extraction, bleeding usually spots after 3-5 minutes. General reasons why poorly collected anamnesis, no comorbidities identified. It may be because of gemophilia disease or thrombocytopenia, uh, scurvy, leukemia, typhus, scarlet fever, endocarditis, etc. Treatment local bleeding. Admit the patient to the hospital. Treatment of the underlying disease. The appointment of hemostatic drug. Local reasons. Soft tissue rapture. Imposing cheeks or forceps of the gum. Tool slippage. Poorly exfoliate the gums. How to prevent? Work carefully. Follow the rules of the removing teeth. And if it's happened, treatment. Add a rupture of soft tissue to put seams. If a vessel is injured, flash it. Bleeding from the bone tissue of the hole. It can be because of fracture of the septum or wall of the hole. How to treat? Compress the bone tissue with bleeding vessels with forceps. Bleeding from adductor vessels. Pulsating bleeding from the bottom of the hole. This is clinic. And treatment. Tie tamponade of the well with a strip of glue with a strip of gauze soaked in three percent hydrogen peroxide of an or aminocaprenic acid solution, sewing up the hole. Alveolar inverities. It can be because of injury of nerve endings in the bone tubules of the wall of the hole. The compliance. 
constant etching pans that do not subside at night. A decrease in all types of sensitivity in the gums. The absence of inflammation in the hole and its surrounding tissue. Treatment Oral sanation Prescribing analgetics Sedatives and desensitizers Vitamins B1, B2 and C Anti-inflammatory therapy Sinusoidal modulated current Electrophoresis of novocaine and 2% solution of vitamin B1 by endonasal method. Curettage in case of failure of conservative therapy. Alveolitis, inflammation of the whole alveoli of the tooth after its removal. The development of alveolitis depends on many factors that ultimately either prevent the formation of a blood clot in the hull after removal or accelerate its disintegration decay. Cause injury to surrounding tissues with complex tooth extraction. Non compliance with the rules of aseptics. Injury with infection of the blood clot by the patient himself. Manifestation constant extracting pain radiating along the branch of the trigeminal nerve. The mucous membrane around the hole of the extracted tooth is hypernic edematous. In the well there is a dairy grey blood clot with a faded odor. The patient is disabled. Treatment local anesthesia Washing the well with a warm solution of antiseptic and revision of the well. With a sharp surgical spoon, carefully scrape the walls of the hole until bleeding occurs. A scene anti inflammatory, desensitizing, and physiotherapy. Prevention Minimal trauma to surrounding tissue. Strict adherences to accept this rules. For the successful tooth extraction operation, it is necessary to carefully collect anamnesis, conduct an examination, follow the tactics of the tooth extraction in order to avoid complication. Our lecture is over. Thank you for the attention.